Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. This is going to be a mini review of the Lawa 50mm Nanomorph 1.5x anamorphic lens. Super 35 cameras like the Red Komodo here. Now, there is uh, something special about this lens, and that is going to be first and foremost the size. This lens is small, and by small, I mean ridiculously small. If you take a look here, I actually had to set up a, uh, a rod here on the side of my Komodo instead of on the bottom. Normally you would put your rods down here through the base plate, but my follow focus couldn't attach to the gears on this lens when the rods were placed below it because it is just so small. The uh, gear rings are super smooth. It's about a 270 degree to 300 degree rotation on the focus so definitely works nicely with a follow focus system um, but since you know the lens is just so light you can easily run and gun with it I mean this thing barely weighs anything it's you know certainly not at all hard to slap a small matte box on top of it and it just really fits nicely with uh, a camera like the Komodo which is pretty compact now the uh, de-squeeze factor or anamorphic kind of look on this lens uh, is only 1.5 X which is not super high but it's also not that low either I think it's a nice kind of middle ground compromise but depending on your camera's sensor size um, that 1.5 X uh, de-squeeze is going to give you an overall aspect ratio uh, that's might be a little bit too wide. Now if you use this lens on most either mirrorless cameras or a camera like the Komodo or even another Super 35 camera like the Canon C70 that I'm shooting this video on, you can use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio on the sensor. De-squeezing that at 1.5 times is going to give you an overall 2.66 to 1 aspect ratio. Now that's a little bit too wide for my taste, so what you'll see in the um, upcoming footage is that I ended up just cropping off a little bit on the left and right sides to get it to fit into a 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio, which is what I prefer for that anamorphic look. Now, if you are going to use this on uh, cameras which can output other sort of base aspect ratios, 4x3 or 3x2, that 1.5 XD squeeze is just not really going to work very well. It's going to give you um, just some kind of strange aspect ratios in the end. So you do really want to use it on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio sensor. What's also really cool about this lens is that Lawa actually offers it with three different types of flares, either uh, blue flares, amber flares, or in the case of this lens, uh, I got the silver flare version. Now for some people, uh, you know, a big part of the anamorphic look is the lens flares. And while I definitely do enjoy some nice lens flares, for me, I wanted more control over them and I didn't want them to be kind of oddly colored, you know, a blue flare on a warm light. You know, I, I wanted just a little bit more kind of naturalistic flares that were going to replicate the original light source a little bit better. So I went with the silver version and I think it's probably more subtle. The flares are more subtle compared to the blue or the amber versions, but I actually kind of like that and then if I want to use more intense flares, then I'm going to throw on, you know, uh, a special filter, which uh, you will see uh, used quite heavily in footage here that I'm going to show you guys. So in any case, not super crazy anamorphic flares on this lens. 
and you're not going to get you know, that really, really kind of uh, stretchy bokeh that you might get on a 1.8 or a 2X um, de-squeezed anamorphic lens. But 1.5X uh, still does give you uh, a nice anamorphic look. And um, this version that I have, the 50 millimeter, um, with that additional, you know, uh, 2.4 or 2.66 to one aspect ratio, you know, you're gonna get a pretty wide field of view, something that's gonna be closer to, you know, between a, a 25 to 35 millimeter overall field of view. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for this review. I really enjoy this lens, and you know, another thing that is great about it is that it's quite affordable. Um, of course, Super 35 lenses tend to be uh, much more affordable than full frame equivalents, but you can get this lens as well as a 27 millimeter and a 65 millimeter, uh, each for about a thousand bucks. Uh, Lawa is a really great company. They make some really interesting lenses, tilt shift lenses, and tons of you know macro lenses and landscape lenses. And um, these Super 35, super tiny, super light anamorphic lenses are a really nice addition to their lineup. And I will be looking into potentially purchasing um, the other ones in the series, and also have heard that they are working on some additional um, focal lengths to add to this series. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Like and subscribe, it really helps me out, it really helps boost the channel. I'm getting close to 1,000 subscribers, so help me get there. Your subscription is really important. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Do you like these sort of reviews? Are there any other lenses that you want me to check out? Um, features that you want me to show on either the Komodo or the C70 uh, or any other you know, camera gear, just let me know and I will certainly consider it. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.